Hey dolls and gents, I am super excited to be back today because I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my travel makeup bag. I have been traveling and not really at home a lot this month, so I've been using this makeup bag that I purchased from TJ Maxx, and it's by Betsy Johnson. I just love the floral print on this. I think it's such a beautiful spring makeup bag, and it carries a lot of stuff because when I go and I travel, I like to carry a lot of makeup with me so I can have a lot of different options. So we're first going to start off with what's in this back little pocket, and it's my MAC palette. And these are the old MAC palettes. If you've been to MAC recently, a MAC standing store or a pro store, then you know that they have the ones with the little clear opening so you can actually see each product. But this has my MAC blushes in it that I love the most. And I like different options when I'm traveling, so I carry eight MAC blushes with me. This one is Azalea. This one is Love Rush. This one is Ambering Rose. This one's Format. This one is Raisin. This one is Fever. This one is Double. And this one is Tippy. This one came out with a MAC Hello Kitty collection. So you guys cannot purchase this blush anymore, unfortunately, but these are my favorite MAC blushes. Love them to pieces. Let's go ahead and get into what's in my makeup bag. And it's a lot of stuff, you guys. Don't judge me, okay? So first I have my Bin Nye Banana Powder. I love this powder for putting underneath my eye area. I have it on today. Absolutely love it. Next, I have my Sephora Mattifying Powder, and this one is actually not available anymore. I'm not sure why they discontinued it, but this shade is D56. I've also got a Milani blush. I swear I'm obsessed with blush now because I have so many blushes in here. It's ridiculous, and this blush is called Terrasol. It's one of their baked blushes. I've got a Milani Eye Pencil Sharpener or any pencil sharpener rather. I've got the Milani Easy Brow in Dark Brown. It's got your retractable brow pencil on one side, and then it's got a spoolie on the other. Love this. I've also got a Cosmetic Puff, and I use this for my under eye concealer setting it. I use it with my Bin Nye Banana Powder. I brought my favorite foundation, which is the MAC Pro Longwear at the moment. I'm wearing it right now, and it just makes my face look beat, and it lasts forever. I love this. I've also got the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Black Theme, and this is just a black cream eyeshadow that I like to use for bases. I use it today for this look I created. I've also got another palette, and this is the Uni Palette. This one holds my favorite MAC eyeshadows, and it also has a mirror up top, which I love. So I use this mirror to get ready when I want to do up-close work. I'll just hold it like this and kind of make sure my makeup looks okay, but... I'm going to really quickly go through the eyeshadows in here. So I'm going to really quickly go through my MAC eyeshadows that I have in here. It's an assortment of shades, and I can come up with a variety of looks with this palette, which I love. Right here, I've got Arena. This one is called Satin Taupe. I've got Smut, Club, Carbon, Evening Aura, Coppering, Stars and Rockets, Shadowy Lady, Woodwinked, Aquavert, Lovelace, and Bark and Vibrant Great Eyeshadow. I love these eyeshadows, and I kind of just really quickly picked a couple so I could get the colors and different combinations that I like. I've also got my Duo Adhesive, and this one is the one with the brush on the end. This one doesn't bother me like the regular Duo Adhesive. The regular Duo Adhesive makes my eyes itch, so I'm not sure if the formula in this one is a little bit different. I've also got one of my favorite mascaras at the moment, which is the Maybelline Illegal Lens. This stuff makes my lashes really long. I used it in my last Get Ready With Me video, and I love this stuff. I've got the Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit, and this one is in dark. I love this. I used it for my brows today. I've got an empty eyelash container because I have the eyelashes on right now. These are from my local beauty supply store. These are number 118. I've also got the Balm Cabana Boy Blush, and I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now. It's just a gorgeous summery and spring blush. I always pack two foundations, so I also brought the Chanel Perfection Lumiere Foundation with me. I've got Too Faced Shadow Insurance because I don't want my eyeshadow to crease, so this is very important to have. I also have one of my favorite highlight colors from MAC, and this is Rice Paper Eyeshadow. Chapstick, of course. This is the Nivea 
honey and milk lip balm. I love this stuff. It just really works at moisturizing my lips. And my lips can get so chapped. It's ridiculous. I've got a Arabian Beauty Cosmetics eyeshadow in dark truffle. I love using this in the crease. It's just a dark matte brown eyeshadow. I've also got Raving Beauty Cosmetics Artesian Eyeshadow, and I love using this as a transition color. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone, and it adds some depth and dimension to the crease. I've got the e.l.f. Complete Coverage Concealer, and this one is in dark. You guys saw me use this one in one of my last tutorials, and it made it like a green undercast on my eyes. I don't use this shade. The only shade I use in this palette is this one, and I use it on top of my eyebrows because it's almost the same color as my skin tone. The Sugar Pill Tiara Eyeshadow. This is an eyeshadow that I wore when I went to Nitra's wedding. So I'm wearing it right now in the inner corner because this is the same look I wore to her wedding. If you guys want a makeup tutorial, definitely let me know. I've also got the Sugar Pill Lumi Eyeshadow. You guys know I love this eyeshadow, so I had to pack it with me. Come on now. I also have the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW40. I use this to highlight underneath my brow bone, right underneath my eyebrows when I fill them in, and it just makes them look perfect, and it gives a natural highlight. I've also got the CoverGirl Queen Bronzer in Ebony Bronze. You know I love this bronzer. Like, I wear this every day. You see, I've definitely hit pan in the middle, so I'll be purchasing a new one pretty soon on this. I've also got the C.O. Bigelow Mintha Lip Shine, and I love this. Isn't that such a funny name, C.O. Bigelow? But yeah, I love this stuff, and if you can tell, Shuffles has chewed this up, but this is almost done, so I'll be getting another one. I've also got another Tarte blush. This is one of their Maracuja Bouncy Blushes, and this one is in Shimmering Poppy. And I've used this a couple of times, but I've been trying to use cream blushes more because cream blushes just look really flawless on the skin. I've also got their Blush and Glow, and this is really great at highlighting the skin. I used it here today, and it looks flawless. I've also got the Fashion Fair Stick, and this one is in Tech. This is their Fast Finish Stick. I use this to contour my face. I also brought with me the YSL E Saint Laurent Touche Claw, and I have this in the color, I think, 7. Yes, color 7. And I just use this when I really quickly want to highlight some areas on my skin or just cancel out the dark circles underneath my skin really quick. I've got the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Love this mascara. It's dark and it volumizes like crazy. I've also got the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This one is an NW40. I use this to highlight and conceal my dark circles under my eyes. The MAC Lip Gloss in Mad Cat. I'm wearing that today on my lips. Let me reapply this matter of fact. This is one of my favorite nude lip glosses. And I don't have any other lip glosses or lipsticks in here. You're probably wondering why. And that's because most of my lip glosses and lipsticks are actually in my purse. I've also got the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep Dark. And I need another one of these, seriously. I'm like over here trying to scrub all the powder out, but it's like majorly on pan. That's how much I love this. I also have the Ardell Brow Sculpting Gel, and you can see it was a clear color, but now it's brown because I use it on my brows every day. Almost done, you guys. I have the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, and I have that applied over the Tarte Blush and Glow, and it's just to set that in place. This is so gorgeous. I love it. I also have the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW45. I use this to cover any blemishes, darkness on my skin that my foundation didn't already get. A couple more products, you guys. I have the MAC Feline Eye Cold Pencil. I love this for just applying to my waterline and my upper lash line and smudging it out. Absolutely love it for smoky eyes. I also have the Prescriptus Concealer. This is their Flawless Skin Total Protection Concealer, and I have this in shade Level 5 Warm. And I use this just on my eyelids just to even them out. And last but not least, I have the Deep Dark Brunette Fluid Line. This is their Brow Gel Cream, and I have a video on this already. But I use this sometimes when I want like a really bold, big brow. So, my makeup bag is all empty now. 
See, I fit all that stuff into this one makeup bag. I think that's pretty freaking cool, right? So you guys are probably wondering where the heck are my makeup brushes, right? Because I have all these makeup products, how do I apply them, right? So, I carry my makeup brushes and the Sedona Lace, this came with their Midnight Lace Synthetic Brush Set. And I just carry all of my brushes in here. I'm not going to go through the brushes that I carry in my travel kit. But if you guys want to know the brushes that I carry with me, thumbs up this video and I will get to that for you guys. But this is how I carry my brushes. It makes it really easy to use since they're in a little kind of cup and it's a case that you can put your brushes together with. I absolutely love this. It's brilliant. So that's the makeup that I carry with me, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up this video. I have a makeup tutorial coming for you guys soon, so be on the lookout for that. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. By the way, if you guys have not noticed, I've been recording every other day on this channel. So if you are not getting my videos in your subscription box, check my channel every other day for a new video. Today is Monday, May 13th. And I will have a new video for you guys on Wednesday. So be back on the 15th. I'll see you guys later. Bye.